What is the real difference between an aliphatic compound and the aromatic compound? Now, aliphatic compound can be alkane, alkene, or alkyne. So, single bond, double bond, or triple bond. And then within the alkane, there can be also cycloalkane. That means it is a cyclic ring but without any resonating structure however in an aromatic compound you would have delocalized pi electrons so this is the benzene structure or we call it as you have a, a, a benzene a hexagon here and a resonating uh, structure over and below it that means that's where we say the delocalized delocalized pi electrons are present so delocalized pi electrons are present in aromatic they are absent in aliphatic compounds aromatic compounds have a pleasant smell however aliphatic compounds do not have a pleasant smell another important difference here the flame is sooty here it is not sooty flame that's another major difference now when it comes to saturated or unsaturated Aromatic compounds, since they have uh, resonating structures, delocalized pi electrons, they are always unsaturated. However, aliphatic compounds can be saturated or unsaturated. Now, what is saturated and unsaturated? We have already covered in the previous lecture. But to just explain it, if the group is satisfied, for example, in alkane, we have the saturated group. However, if it is alkene or alkyne, if there is a double bond or a triple bond, then we say it is unsaturated. So, aliphatic compounds can be saturated in case of alkene, how alkene or cycloalkene. However, they could be unsaturated in case of alkene or alkyne. The basic idea is when they are unsaturated, they are more reactive. When they are saturated, they are stable, they are less reactive. And the saturated ones have substitution reaction. Unsaturated works with addition reaction. So those are some of the common differences that we understand. So uh, again, the last and the most important thing is the carbon to hydrogen ratio in an aromatic compound, let's say benzene C6H6. So carbon to hydrogen ratio is low. But here, let's say we have CH4, C2H6, so that's what that is alkane so what happens in this case in this case the carbon to hydrogen ratio is high so that's another major difference that occurs between the aliphatic and the aromatic compound extremely important topic very very important to have the basic understanding before we dive into the details of the chemistry lectures thank you